ओम नम शिव स्टूडेंट्स इन कंस्ट्रक्शन टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ द स्पेशल एंगल्स और स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स सच एज 60 डिग्री 30 डिग्री 90 डिग्री 45 डिग्री एट्सेट्रा विदाउट यूजिंग प्रोटेक्टर वी विल यूज ओनली द कॉम्पास फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग दिस एंगल्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द 60 डिग्री फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वी हैव गिवन द हेडिंग ऑफ द 60 डिग्री 30 डिग्री एंड 120 डिग्री सिंस दे आर ऑल आर in the same construction we can draw in similar way so first we will draw the base of the 60 degree the base of the 60 degree any construction we we need first we are giving a line so this will be the base for the 60 degree so already you have remembered the first from any one of the end point either this point from the right or from the left we can take a required choice of arc of any radius this will be of our choice so we will give an arc on any one of the end point okay now we will get this intersection point now we will not change this space between the center and the radius the radius will remain same so from the intersection point we will give another arc on the previous arc so we will give another arc on the previous arc using this intersection point now we will have this point now now if we join these two points this point and this point we will have the 60 degree so this is the 60 degree so this angle is drawn as 60 degree if we give the name a b c so this angle will become 60 degree you can measure using protector also now let's see next 30 degree now as the 30 degree is half of the 60 degree so if we are able to bisect this 60 degree we will have the 30 degree so that is the 30 degree only just the bisection of 60 degree so first obviously we have to draw a 60 degree so let's do it inside so first we have given a base next we will draw the 60 degree similar way so this one we have done in the left side so let's do it on the right side in the similar way so any choice of arc we will give so any choice of radius we have given a arc so we have got this intersection point now using this intersection point without changing the space between the center and the radius so we will give the another arc so this is the point of 60 degree so if we join it we will have the 60 degree this point and this point these two points will give us in joining so this is the 60 degree so angle a b c is the 60 degree now if we bisect this angle into two parts we will have the 30 degree in the last video i have shown you how to bisect an angle so let's do the in same way so from this angle to this angle it is the full length so let it make it more than half just make it little bit shorter but it not be sh so much shorter that it will be less than half it should be always more than half size so using this first intersection point by making it to more than half size we will give an arc on here now from the another point that is the 60 degree here we will give the arc so we will draw the arc on the previous arc so we will have this point so if this point and the vertex B is joined we will have to we have the bisected the angle ABC that means the angle 60 degree so let it bisect this one So joined and extended so the angle ABC suppose this one angle is D so angle DBC is 30 degree so this angle will become 30 degree and this also will become 30 30 plus 30 60 degree as a whole so only the angle DBC become 30 degree so how we have done 30 degree by bisecting the 60 degree only next one 120 degree and 120 degree is nothing just the double of the 60 degree so we will draw the 60 degree two times so we will have the 120 degree 
so let's draw the base first so we have drawn the base now as we have drawn the 60 degrees similar way we will choose a length of radius so we will give an arc in bigger size because 120 degrees obtuse angle so it will be more than 90 degrees so we will draw a bigger arc from any one of the end point so from the left we have given an arc now from the new intersection point we will give the another arc on it so this will become 60 degree now from the 60 degree intersection point we will give another arc so this become 120 degree so if we extend it from this vertex point through this point so we will have the our 120 degree angle so suppose it is P O Q so angle A B C 60 degree angle D B C 30 degree and angle P O Q become 120 degree so we can write them here in the side so angle A B C become 60 degree here angle A B D that means A B D this angle equals to angle D B C dbc equals to 30 degree both of them are 30 degree and this one angle poq poq equals to 120 degree now let's do the construction of 90 degree and 45 degree similar way first we have we need the base so first we will draw a base so let's draw a base so here we have drawn a base suppose we are choosing the right side point so we have to draw 90 degree so similar way we will use the one along as we have done in the 120 degree similarly first we will draw the 120 degree here so any choice of arc we will give an arc around it so a bigger arc so we have got this point intersection from this point it is 60 degree then again from this intersection point from this intersection point we will give the 20 degree and you can make it bigger also because we need it later also now from the 120 degree we will give an arc on it so we will have this intersection point now this intersection point if we join we will have the 90 degree so this point and this point that means this angle become 90 degree so angle A O B become 90 degree or perpendicular now let's see how to draw the 45 degree similar way now as 45 degree is the half of 90 so we can bisect the angle 90 degree so we will have the 40 degree 45 degree sorry so let's draw the base so here we have done from the right side let's do it from the left side also or we can do it in right side also so an arc is drawn of any choice of radius then from the arc it is 60 degree then from the 60 degree we have got an arc of 120 degree and from the 120 degree we have got the 90 degree so as the 90 degree is not asked it is asked 45 degrees so we can give only the marking into it so this point and this point so this marking are needed only so we will give only three mark that means here here and here and anywhere we have not changed the radius of the arc even 90 degree even in here now when we are bisecting now we have to change the length so from this intersection point to this intersection point it is full length now we have to make it less more than half size so a little bit shorter so we have got it here so one arc on here 
another arc from this intersection point make it understand which intersection point this intersection point we have got another arc so this point we have got now this point means it is bisected into two parts now if we join and extend we will have our 45 degree this point so this is the 45 degree so we can give the name as a b c so this angle become 45 degree so 45 degree is drawn by bisecting the 90 degree so we will write here that angle a o b is 90 degree and angle a b c become 45 degree names can be given anything but must be given in serial wise or in clockwise or anti-clockwise so these are the basic angles we have seen here in the next video we will see the 75 degree 105 degree 135 degree and many more so see you in the next video till then namashivai